Uno, under uh, for leaf publishing. Yeah. Okay, the first one. C. So cover the news and not become part of it. So when you cover the news, um, you should not be part of it. What does that, what does that mean? Yeah, when you take pictures, you'd not be part of the news, right? So basically, you are in the background. Not literally in the picture background, but I mean behind the scenes, right? Okay, the next one. Okay, before we proceed to A, um, when you cover the news, that doesn't mean, because I notice especially in um, schools, when you cover the event, not necessarily just the event proper. So when you cover an event, that should be before, during, and after, right? Because that makes the event, not just the event proper, but the behind the scenes, and then when you do the event, and then when you clean up after. So ingress, during, egress. So when you, the A part is adapt to different environment situations. What does this mean? Like today, it's really rainy, right? And then there is an event. You cannot be late for this. You cannot be late for this event because you have to capture what is going on. What if all of a sudden it rained gold outside and you weren't here? So too bad for you, right? So you have to capture the moment. So you adapt to different environment situations. If it's too hot, deal with it. If it's too cold, deal with it. What's important is the first part, which is you cover the news pre and then during and post. Okay, P. Pay attention to little details. Uh, this is also one of the things I always tell my students. Uh, you always, every detail counts, right? Because those small details um, are very important. Uh, have you seen like National Geographic and uh, magazines like that? So they don't focus on for example, the war. Not too much on the soldiers, right? So you focus on what's happening with the people. So there was a baby crying, a left uh, baby that was left behind. Okay, next. So T is for take a look at the bigger picture. So when you pay attention to little details, you should also see the big picture. So how many of you are really into photography? Okay, I see a guy really raised his hand really fast there. Okay, good job. Um, when you take pictures, what do you do? Do you just view right away or do you see the big picture? You envision something? If you do that, good job. That is one way of um, getting there, being good at it. Like, uh, when you see me here talking, so you don't just take my picture and do a snapshot, right? You think, oh, which is a good background when he's speaking? When he looks this way, do I capture him this way? Or when I cry all of a sudden, so you have to capture the tear. When you're here and I cried here, too bad for you there. Okay, so there. So take a look at the bigger picture. So before taking the picture, you have to imagine how the picture will look like in the final image. Okay, next. Update yourselves with current events. So that is very important, especially when you want to become a photojournalist, because uh, this is where you will base what you will be taking pictures of, right? Yes. So when you know what is in, like for example, this school. If I was a student, um, what's called this, photojournalist, and then there was an event entitled Captured, but I wasn't informed, or I, I didn't uh, at least get informed or get involved with it, I wouldn't have the chance to take the picture. So you have to be involved and be updated, right, with what's happening. 